Hey everybody, welcome to another instalment of our month of Azure Databricks presented by Advancing Analytics. In this video, we're going to look at a tour of the Databricks workspace. So once you've installed, once you've got everything set up, you'll see this screen and it's here that you'll get started and it's here that you can launch your workspace. And when you launch a workspace, first thing that's going to happen, it's going to try to authenticate you using Azure Active Directory and get you logged in. Now, once you're logged in, you'll see these three main pillars of Azure Databricks. The first one there on your left, which has Explore This Quick Start tutorial at the top, is the most common task that you're going to work with. It's here that you can do things like create a new notebook, upload some data, create a new cluster, create a new machine learning um, ML flow experiment, or even import some libraries. The section in the middle shows you a handy list of the last few notebooks and the last few things that you were doing. It enables you to quickly jump back into what you were doing before and get back up and started. Now above that is the import and explore data option. And that gives you a route into the DBFS, the Databricks file system. It's in here that you can do things like explore the Databricks file system. So navigate through the folder structure that you have, click in and explore what files are in there and see the general shape. This really helps with exploring your data and understanding where things are so you can quickly import them into a new notebook for when you want to use them. Now I should really talk about some caveats here because you don't always want to be working directly with the Databricks file system. You want to be using mount points and you want to be using unmanaged storage. It will help you. So then you don't really want to go in and try and look at the Databricks file system directly. If you open it up in Storage Explorer, you're going to see something that looks a bit like this. Once you actually get in, you're going to get a big old error saying you can't access this or you don't have responsibility for it. Now our last tier on the right there is to, to do with documentation. And now the documentation that you get with Databricks is fantastic. It's super rich and it has a whole load of really deep content in there that's going to help you get accelerated whatever you're trying to do. Be it how do you get a data frame up and running, how do you do machine learning, how do you use things like MLflow or Databricks Delta, it's all documented in here and it's all accessible to you. Up in the top left corner, what you'll see is a whole load of additional options. If you click on home, it gives you an option to explore what you have already in there. So you can explore what users have created what documents, create notebooks, libraries, folders, or ML flow experiments, clone new documents, rename them, import and export DBC archives, which is a great way of sharing your notebooks. If you click workspace, it's going to give you a similar view, but context aware. And recent shows you that middle tier again, but a bit more expanded. You can import some data, uh, import it as a table so it becomes accessible that you can use it with SQL queries. You could run jobs. You can run new clusters. So here's where you'd build out a new cluster. We'll have some more on that in a, in a future lesson. And here's also where you can search. So that was a lightning quick tour of the Azure Databricks workspace. Now, if you're liking and you're getting something out of this video series, then please head on over to YouTube, hit like and hit subscribe so that you stay up to date with all of the videos that we have in this series. Okay, thanks very much and I'll see you on the next one.